Well, it has finally quit raining and it's time to plow. The ground is finally dry enough. We can get in the gardens and go ahead and get them turned over. It has rained and rained and every week it's rained ever since about November. And we're into about middle, middle of January and I have got to get my gardens turned over. I didn't get to it at all last year because it rained nonstop, but I finally got a little bit of time and we're gonna go ahead. Got the plow hooked up and this is my old Dearborn 1052 and I've got 14 inch points on it, which is just a little bit much for this tractor with the, the road slicks on it. So we're good. And I went through all my fluids and my radiator fluid oil, everything. And you want to make sure this thing's ready to go because you're going to be putting quite a bit of strain, especially pulling a two bottom plow. And you want to make sure you've got enough coolant oil and everything so you don't mess your tractor up. So really, in my personal opinion, the best plow for these eight ends is a single 16. But I wanted to go with the uh, 212s and it, it'll pull it but if it's wet and uh, it ain't gonna do it and especially with the tires i've got on this one i've been looking for a nice used set but tires today have just gone crazy but this old plow it needed a lot of work when i got it it was pretty rough shape but i patched and welded up on it pretty good and it does really good but the tractor just needs some new tires and a little more oomph but it gets the job done one thing you definitely need to watch out for, if you've got an overrun clutch on here, I, it doesn't do it on this one. I've had the overrun clutch on it before, but I've been told that some plows, this cross member right here, whatever this is called, this can swing around and hit your overrun clutch because it's quite a bit longer. It sticks out quite a bit more than that reducer. So the biggest thing on these plows is you got to get them adjusted properly. So your issue is with your cant whenever you but this tire in the ditch, your tractor is gonna swing this way. That is why it's built with a kick down on these Dearborn plows on the right side. So I'm gonna get it a little bit leveler than it is, and I'm gonna do just a cut, and then I'm gonna pull that tire in the ditch and get it adjusted out right. We're looking halfway decent on the level. Pretty much you wanna set it down where it's just almost just above the ground and you kind of go from there and get your top link adjusted out where it's level. So I've eased it down to the ground. I get my shadow out of it. And this front point is about an inch and a half, two inches off the ground. That back point is just grazing it. So what we need to do is tighten up our top link here. looks pretty good there all right so we've got i'm gonna get it kind of close i'm not too worried about it level right now because i'm gonna have to readjust it once i get the tire in the ditch or you can pull it up on a four by four and get it pretty close but i'll just take one pass because your first pass is going to be level anyway so to adjust that it's a wheel right here you gotta turn it you can see if you turn it counterclockwise Cants this way, turn it clockwise, cants it back the other way. So that's looking pretty good right there. So we're gonna go ahead, go down here, take our first cut. But before we go ahead and make our first cut, one thing you've gotta think about is how you wanna turn. Do you wanna turn your garden out or do you wanna turn your garden in? And most of mine have a low spot right in the center and I haven't plowed in at least a year. So I'm going to turn all mine in and to turn it in, what you have to do is start in the center, about as center as you can get, make a cut, turn, go on the other side and turn it back in. And you're going to work your way out from the center, but you're really every year you're supposed to do it the opposite direction just to kind of keep your garden level because you don't want to throw years and years, throw all your dirt out in different directions then you're gonna end up with a low spot in the middle. And if you don't have a low spot in the middle, what you can do is turn it out. And to do that, you would start on this outside edge with it turning outward, go down make a pass, come back, turn, come down this side and also throw it out. And you would just keep going all the way into the middle. But the only trick is when you get in the middle, 
you're gonna have a ditch right in the middle of your garden. You're coming together and you wanna try to make it as even as possible so you don't have a big ditch right in your garden. So you just gotta kinda watch the way you're driving and the way you're turning and try to get it where it turns about as evenly as possible. So we got her in first gear and we're gonna go wide open throttle. So one thing you've got to do at all times when you're plowing pretty much until you get a really good feel of it in the depth is you've got to keep your hand on this lever because on this tractor it will anytime it hits a high spot or a hard spot it'll bog a little and you got to kick that up just a touch and then it'll chug right through but if i know on a tractor with much better tires it's not quite as bad but this one will spin real quick so you've got to constantly keep your hand on that lever. So you're right down in here and you've got to, as soon as it starts, you can feel it start to bog pretty bad. You can kick it up just a touch and it'll lift that lift up and then you can drop it back down just a little. So you just got to kind of play with it as you're going down through the rows. And once you've done it a couple of times, you'll get a good feel for it. You'll know as soon as your tractor starts to bog a little when it starts to stick, because once it's stuck in the ground, on this tractor, it's you're going to sit there and spin. And if you've got good tires on there, you're going to dig yourself a pretty big hole pretty quick, especially if it's wet. So you always want to keep your hand right here by this thing. And you just got to be mindful to keep your hand right here. And if you need to kick it up a little bit, and then once it kind of starts going again, knock it back down and right there in the middle. And you'll do good for you. Well, that's all I've got for you today. I've got a lot of work to do. I got to get on this tractor and I got to get to plowing. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you found something helpful. I'm no expert, but picked up over the years on 
what other people have told me and what's worked for me. So I hope you find something that'll help you out. And if you will, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.